Hi ho there, neighbor. Well, it is almost Saturday. It's 11.10 at night, Friday night, and then now I'm walking into the dark. I'm starting the vlog with bad lighting. That's not good. So yeah, it is actually Friday night, but I am getting ready for bed, and I wanted to try a new product that I got that I had seen online, and I was super excited to try. It's kind of a fun product, so I thought, why not vlog it? So it is this carbonated bubble clay mask. So I'm just opening it up out of the box here, and it's this kind of like purpley gray color. It smells pretty good. It smells like a nice smelling like shampoo or something. It's very like um, pudding-esque. It's kind of getting activated like really quickly. Like as you can see, it's starting to bubble. But from what I saw online, it, doesn't, it didn't bubble that quickly for them. I'm just trying to hurry up and get it on. Oh my goodness. It is like tickling my face because it's bubbling. But it's kind of hard. So basically if you try this, like don't have the lid open because it's bubbling right now, but I'm like destroying all of the bubbles because I'm still trying to like put it on. But I don't see, I don't know if you can see how much it's like lifting off of my skin. Thumbnail. The directions, are there directions on here? It's all in Chinese. <laughs> it's all in Chinese. You can hear it like all sudsing up and um, it's just like bubbling so your face is just like tickly all over. Hi-ho there neighbor. How you doing? So it says that you can um, just smash it in. Except mine isn't working like it is online for everyone else. Oh yeah it is. You've really got to work it in. I don't know if I like this part. So basically, if you smash all the bubbles, it turns into a clay. I'm actually gonna hop in the shower because I wanted to take a nice hot shower. So I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna turn the camera off for that. So I'm not having the most perfect skin day and so yeah, it didn't make my skin like more beautiful than it already is. But my skin definitely feels super soft and just like a really deep clean. So yeah, I feel like the suds kind of like help just get into your pores a little bit more. And yeah, I definitely feel just a lot softer and cleaner. So I think it's a good mask. So it's officially Happy Saturday. Um, Joe has a friend that's looking at a house kind of in our area. And so he went, whoa, who did I almost just kill? Mahi, Mahi. Mommy almost sat on you, Mahi. You almost died. Yeah, because you probably wouldn't survive it if I sat on you. I'm just gonna be honest. You probably wouldn't survive that. And then I don't know what's on the agenda. I feel bad because we keep having like these really beautiful Saturdays, like where the weather is really nice, but what did we do last Saturday? Last Saturday was Halloween and I didn't post that footage. Um, did I explain why in my bits of the week? Basically, I was just having computer problems. Hopefully the next clip is exciting. We got the little um, can, what do you call this? They put this with a bag on your door and you fill it with any canned goods that you don't want and then you put it back on your doorstep and they pick it up. So um, I should go through my very messy pantry right now to see what I have. Gotta find good stuff to put in that's not expired. February 2018, so that's good. Some vegetable chili. I have two cans of salsa, so. Cause that's another thing that I do. I go to the store without seeing what I already have. So I'm like, oh, I need salsa. So then I buy salsa and I don't realize that I already had salsa. So now I have two salsas, but I don't like salsa enough to eat two things of salsa. So that's when you donate one. Spaghetti sauce. Some peaches that don't expire until 2017. 2014, those are expired. That felt good, I feel like my pantry is like halfway cleaned out and organized now, which is good. Uh, I did something productive today. This is everything that's gone bad, which actually isn't too bad, because sometimes you buy canned goods, 
for like a recipe and then you don't make the recipe and then you just, it gets lost in the back of your pantry and you forget that you have it. So I had two cans of sloppy joes that went bad, a whole bunch of soup probably when we were sick one time and Joe went overzealous in the soup buying, some green beans and some chicken olla king. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of those and then this is all of the stuff that I'll be donating. Got some chili, some salsa, spaghetti sauce, and these that I bought when we had family over, but whenever we eat tacos, we actually just eat lettuce wraps. And so um, these are actually fairly new and I'm pretty sure we're not gonna use them. So I'll donate that. Joe likes my new jacket. Yeah, it's pretty cute. I think it's very happening. We are going to Target. Again. Again. We're, We're also going to see, see James Bond. Bond. James Bond. James Bond. So I know that I was just here, but when I got home, I realized that we were out of like a million different things. Stuff, right? Oh yeah, and then we're returning things. So he has to go get all that stuff now. The dollar spot sucked me in already. This would be a cute little holiday to-do list thing. Hey, is that Spot? Is that his name? Yeah, it's a video. Yeah. Our kids are gonna be cute. Yeah, they are. I'm just saying. That's pretty durable. You, you should tell me what you would what you would pick out for our little boy if we had one. All of the above right there. Is adorable with some sparkly shoes. Yes. Yeah, come look at mine. That's cute. Feel it. Yeah. My little girl will also own a furry vest. Now that is pretty chic. This is what our cart currently looks like. So this this is how Joe rolls, right? We've had this problem where I have no hangers for a long time. <laughs> so I bought every hanger they had, and I'm super excited. So you sold my trash can, and I'm getting a new one. This one's cool because it's got the foot pedal and a pull-out. Oh. And then he got this um, thing because I am horrible at putting the toilet paper back on the roll. I yeah, will it's, admit it. It's absolutely so it's the bane of my existence. It's ridiculous. It's probably our that's, main that's argument in our marriage. Thing. Look, that's the same deal as the normal one. No, you just slide it on. Yeah, yeah. What's the difference between sliding it on and spring loading the one in the thing? You can load this bad boy up like like shotguns on. <laughs> Joe is more excited about scented pine cones than I thought he would be. Mm, that's good. Are you super excited to have this? It's like Christmas, sunny? man. Yeah. How'd you like the movie? I give it a six. Six out of ten? It wasn't the best Bond movie. It was good. It was serviceable. <laughs> serviceable. Anyhow, now we are getting groceries for tomorrow. So as a kid, my dad, Holy if we crap. were... Typical Joe. What? <laughs> Sprinkled donut crunch. Can I share my nostalgic story it's probably now? Probably nasty though. Anywho, as a kid, if we were good in the grocery store, we got to end in the cereal With aisle, and we got to pick out our favorite cereal, and we both got to get a cereal. My dad would do this. Um, so every time I come in the cereal aisle now, I still get excited to pick my favorite cereal. They are seriously stuffing it up on the cereal game. Oh. I would either pick that or Cocoa Puffs or um, Reese's Puffs. That was where it was at. As an adult, I kind of go for like Raisin Bran. <laughs> so number one, Cinnamon Life. Number two, Fruity Pebbles. And then um, number three, <laughs> they're all together. Honeycomb. He's not making four. this up. It's number just four. they just so happen to all be there. There it is. Yeah, there's number four. Number four. Corn pops. This is a good one. I'm gonna get this. Like oh, it's so good. good. So good. As a kid, I like this too. Yeah. This is what we do with this. <laughs> that looks like we're hanging a turkey. Well, it smells like cinnamon. <laughs> 
that smells good. It's my kind of, what is that called? Uh, smelly, car freshener. Smelly fresh car thingy. Joe whiffed this thing like 50 times in the store. Dude. It really does smell like Christmas. It smells fantastic.